Hey guys, good morning. Uh, we are on our way to go to Baludoy's house. We haven't seen him in a while, so um, we're gonna go there and give you guys a little update. I know you guys want to see him too. Raymond's waiting there. Yeah, he's up there waiting for us. So <laughs> we just want to do a, a little quick update of just up here. Um, we got the tiles for the house. Yes. Um, then we got the sand. Yes. And then we just got to get the cement. Yes. And then um, then we have to find someone to lay it. <laughs> yes. So Sebring right now is busy on another job. So um, hopefully soon he'll be free to do it. But uh, that's the update with that. So right now we almost have all of the materials to do the floor. So very excited for that. Yes. Very, very excited. And then one more thing. While Raymond and I were out driving around, one thing that's always kind of been on the back of my head is um, what to do with trash here, which is kind of a problem in the province. If you guys are from the province and have a similar problem, and if you guys have a solution, let us know. Um, I know some people probably dig holes and put the trash there. Here, we can't really do that because our property takes up, or the house takes up the whole property. And we have, oh, here's the workers right here. <laughs> hey, Melchum. <laughs> That's his dad, right? Yeah. Melchum and his dad, they're hard workers. Good job, guys. <laughs> What's Melchum's dad's name? Uh, What's your name? <laughs> Unsu. Ramel. Ramel, yeah. Ramel, all right. Ramel's a very popular name here. Yeah. Lots of Ramel's around mm -hmm. here. So very hard workers today. So that's all up by the road and they're bringing this here. So it's nice now that it's the rainy season's almost over. Yeah. So it's not really raining as much any longer. But so back to the trash. Um, some people bury it or dig holes and bury it. But here the house takes up the whole property and we can't yeah. just, we can't just dig holes in other people property and um there's lots of rocks here so digging a hole is not really possible here because there's so much so many rocks so another solution is to burn it which you can see there's a burn pile here but you can see there's trash too so burning a, burning it just on the land like that kind of makes a little bit of a mess too because trash will end up blow away so anyway i had an idea to get a barrel which yeah. which I do this at my house too because I live in the um, a very similar area. It's in the woods, and uh, so we just get trash and we just burn it. So um, and you know it might not be the perfect solution. So if anyone else has another solution, burying it or burning it, because here there's no trash pickup. Mm -hmm. We just burn the. Yeah. Trash. So here, you can't just put the trash on the side of the road and someone will come pick it up for you. That just doesn't happen here. Mm -hmm. So we pretty much the person who has the trash has to figure out what to do with the trash. Yeah. So that's why in the province there's a lot of trash everywhere because there's not there's no where to put it. So that's kind of a problem and we're trying to figure something out to make it a little bit more cleanly here. Yeah. So for now, we're going to see if this works. So we got this brand new, well not brand new for us. We yeah. got this from a junkyard. This is not easy to find here. Raymond and I went to probably four or five different junkyards and we finally found one and uh, we found this one. So if does if this does work for us, which I think it will, because I do this in my house, so I just burn stuff, and um, we might get try to find a couple for others too. In, in your house, there is pickup, pickup trash. There is pickup trash. We get to pay for it. We need to pay for it. So um, you know, we just burn it mm -hmm. if we can, and recycling, you have to pay for that too. So we recycle. There's a there's a free place where you can drop off your recycling, but to pick it up, you have to pay for. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, the thing with um trash is you know people call this littering which it is it is littering you know when you just put it here but it's littering that you can see like um when you go put into a junkyard that's littering too you know you're, just, you're putting trash there it's just confined where people can't see so mm -hmm. either way you're putting trash on the earth so it's either you put it in an area that nobody can see it and it's in one area or you put it here but we don't want it here because it doesn't make it look nice so we're going to try our best yeah. to get it all out of um it's nice to have a trash free area. Yeah. So anyway. This is a good idea. Yeah, I so like this that. is so we're gonna try this. We can just put our, our trash like plastic, we will separate the biodegradable and then biodegradable. Yes, yes, <laughs> very good. <laughs> so plastic papers burn here and then for bottles we will just or uh what's that? Separate that one because there are um what's that like John? They, they will sell pick bottles, those, right? yeah. So they we can recycle come here those and buy if you have bottles. Yeah. Okay, so we can recycle the bottles mm -hmm. and different things like that. But everything else we'll probably just burn. 
Papa. All right, so that's that. It's not a perfect solution, but I think it's a good solution. A good and if you guys have any other solutions or ideas, let us know. I mean, we're open to ideas. I think trash is one of the big problems here that um, we're gonna try to figure mm -hmm. out. So I think now we'll go to Baludo's. Yes. Melchum, how old are you, brother? How do you say how old are you? Pilai Mudad. Pilai Mudai? Imung Idad. Imung Idad. Anse. Anse? 11. 11. Yeah. All right. So 11 years old. He's a very, very hard worker. Yeah. Good work, bro. Anse is Spanish. Anse is Spanish. Yeah. yeah. Lots of Spanish and Tagalog or Basaya. Mm -hmm. All right, so, um, and he got a lot of stuff in the box. He was here the other day, and he's one of the, he's nearby, so he gets lots of candies. Yes. That's kind of the nice thing about being the neighbors around here, because yeah. all the kids around here get lots of candy, get lots of clothes, get mm -hmm. lots of everything. So that's yeah, all I the know. help from the boxes, yeah. yeah. And, it's uh, like they can smell if we open the box, they, they sneak. <laughs> yeah, it's like they almost know. Yeah. Like on the days that we open the box, you can see him looking through the windows. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're going to go to Blue Noise. Raymond's up there waiting for us. Yeah. So we'll just see when we get there. See ya. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Working hard out here. It's a hot day. <laughs> Raymond. Raymond? What's his name? Uh, Brian. Brian and then Ramel's down there. Yeah. All right. Some new faces today. All right, so we are on our way to Blue Noise house, which is right up there. And the road is right down there. Raymond's going to get some... I think some extra food for the house. We're gonna have a meal here. He's going but, to Jason's. Oh, going to Jason's to get some komote. Yeah. Okay, so Raymond's going to Jason's to get the komote, which is right up there. You can see the blue uh, chicken things. But anyway, I was just gonna show you this. Here's the walkway. For those, that, for those of you that might be new to the channel, we also redid Bluedoy's house. And this is Michael, this is Bluedoy's son. And that was one of the tougher projects. That was. So we had to carry all the materials off from the road, all the way here, all the way up, and all the way to the house. And um, that was one of the very first projects we've done too. Yeah. So we're just gonna walk up there now. I see Jenny coming. After That's Bluto's wife. Yeah, I thought it was after a muck. Hey, Jenny! Como esta? <laughs> <laughs> it's a mix of Chicago, okay. like I think anything. Yeah. Okay, now, okay. Nice to see you. Okay. It's been a while. That was on the Unsoni. I know what you can do. Come on, you're tiny now. I said, it didn't grow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like this. <laughs> so, the same height, when's the last time uh, you grew? Do you remember? Did you ever have like a uh, growth spurt? No. No. Always the same. I don't know. I'm the same height since like 9th or 10th grade. Like, I'm growing like this. Yeah. So I think. Maybe, what do you think? Ninth grade too, you didn't grow? I think. I never got that growth spurt either, so. They said you will To all the short people out there. You said you will stop growing for girls 18, 18? and for boy 21. 21? My grandpa, I think he was like 18 when he went to the army. When he came back like four years later, he grew a foot. When he came back, he was well, well over six foot. So when he came back to the army, like no one uh, recognized him because he was so tall, so buff from the army. So we're walking on the way up, we're almost to Blue Doys. I just want to show you where we were the other day. That's where Aimee's house is over there, and that's where we flew the kites. Right on top of there, and that's Jason's house, even further up. And my next favorite view is probably up here. You can see almost the ocean, but you can see everything around. That's probably my other view, other favorite view. Yeah. We'll walk up there. You want to go there? Yeah. All right. We'll walk up there now. We'll show you guys. All right. So we just made it to the top. And this would be a pretty cool camping spot too. Because when you get to the very top, it kind of flattens out a little bit. You can see someone had a fire here. And it flattens out just enough to maybe put a tent. Or even just a little mat you can sleep out here. But I'll do a little 360 so you guys can see the view. There's Raymond just pulling in. He must have taken he must have taken the back way, which you can go this way, right through there. There's a road back there. He goes up there, through there, and all the way that way. So that's the way you can take if it's not raining. When it's raining, it's really hard to take. Look at Dustin. He's like Aquaman. Aquaman, yeah. Like, 
There's water drop. <laughs> it's very please hot. Please, no. Yeah. Only please. I think because I drink water constantly. Yeah. Like, I'd probably drink about 10 of these a day, if not more. Yeah. No joke. It's either I a rainbow water. or Aquaman. <laughs> Me, oh. it's like a camel because I can live a day without water. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. You don't drink water ever. Yeah. I'm a camel before. Yeah? In your yeah. past life? Past life. I you think, think you're an Aquaman or fish? Some kind of fish, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna walk slowly back down and we'll just see when we get down there. And we got a couple surprises from the box and we have a gift for Chalamet and we have the globe. Yes. To let you know where it came from. So we'll walk down and we'll see you guys when we get down there. Alright, hey guys. We're with Baludoy's family. Uh, this is one of our first projects too, uh, way back in the day. If you guys haven't seen those videos, if you're new to the channel, uh, maybe you can check those out. But um, I guess... We're, while we're here for the new people, maybe we can just go around and introduce everybody. Yeah. Maybe okay. we can start Jenny. Hello, his wife. Introduce him, Pangante. Hello, Jenny. 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 Oh. And Dudong next, Dudong Kinan. Yeah. Yeah. Kinan. 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 How old are you, Kinan? Say that to Dudong Kinan. Two? Three. 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 Jelame is 10 years old. Jelame. Michael. Michael. Okay. 14 years old. All right. Nice name. And Dodong. Ivan. 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 Five years old. Five years old. And Baludoy, the great worker. Probably the hardest worker around here. Happy birthday. His birthday last March 30th. March 30th? When we arrive here. All right. Happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday. Want to introduce yourself? <laughs> That's our calling when we come down. <laughs> and this is Cecil. Cecil. All right. So first, maybe um, I have a few things from the box. And this is kind of a mix of a few different things. We have some gloves, Whoa, gloves. some different books, um, kid books, kid books. song books, Michael sticker books. Yeah, for all the kids, all the kids. And then some games. This is a cool like puzzle game. And some pencils. And then, last time we gave him some toothbrushes and toothpaste. Oh, but here's some candy for everybody. I'll let you hold on to it, alright? <laughs> Another reason why we're here, someone really liked the name Chalamet. So, thank you. Who? Where'd you guys get the name Chalamet? <laughs> Ah, they're relatives go. Relatives, okay. Today we're here for Chalamet and the rest of the family. Well, I'm someone wanting to gift you a gift. Wow. <laughs> this gift is coming all the way from Tasmania, Australia. And I'll show everybody. First I'll show you where we are now. We're in the Philippines, up here in Cebu. Mm -hmm. See, we're up here? This is where we are now. Good. And the gift came all the way from Tasmania. No. Pretty cool? Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. See, that's where Philippines? Oh. And this is where Tasmania is. Oh. Oh. Here's the Philippines, mm. and here's Tasmania. Mm. Tasmania. Yeah, and this is Australia. That's a really, really big island, if you want to call it. And then Tasmania, yeah. So this came all the way from Tasmania. So, they did have something to say. Um, she wants, oh, this person wants you to chase your dreams. And try hard to be a successful woman. Very intelligent, that's good. Put energy in into being a leader in whatever field you choose to do. So Shalame, you're 10 years old and you're in what grade? 
Five. 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 Do you have any idea what you want to be when you get older? Teacher. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. So this person from Tasmania wanted to give you. One, two, three, four. Four thousand pesos. Thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you, Ted, to Thank Tasmania. You. <laughs> We've been telling other kids this too, but Baludoy and Jenny, yeah. if the kids ever need anything for like school, like papers, pens, notebooks, anything like that, if we don't have it at the house, I'll go to the store and buy it for you guys. So um, we've been saying this to other kids too, but um, Baludoy, maybe you can tell them that. If they ever need any school supplies, just let us know. If you, if, if you need uh, more pencils, we can buy more pencils, but don't sell the pencils, huh? Do you believe you, huh? What's your favorite in there? Chocolate time! Ask her what's your favorite. Say, 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 should we wait till after we eat? Or is it okay to give one piece? Oh. Or should we wait till after we eat? Give them. Alright, we'll give to one each. <laughs> Wanna try one? And this whole thing is for them. But we'll give one piece each. Oh, I always eat dessert before I eat the meal. I do. And for the dolls too? No. No? No? Alright. Yeah, you can be the uh, candy keeper. <laughs> Alright, so thank you guys very much. And we came here today. I think we're gonna have some chicken or something. Yeah, chicken and coconut. Chicken and coconut. What is that up in a tree? What who is what is that? Monkey. <laughs> oh. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine coconut trees in Baluti's yard. That is awesome. Unlimited supply. And coconuts to me is like the best thing ever because you can do so much with it. There's a goat down here, Raymond. <laughs> hey, goat. I'll protect the goat. It looks like Raymond with his goatee. <laughs> Let's check out your goatee. That's where the name goatee came from. There's Raymond's twin. I have look alike twins. There's goatee on a human, and there's goatee on a goat. Mm. Big, big, big bro. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's a big bowl. If you're in the jungle yeah. and you don't have a bowl, yeah, you can use. So we just finished drinking some of the coconuts. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna enjoy eating the insides of the coconut. Yeah. How's it going, Richie? <laughs> <laughs> so out of a coconut, you can make your own bowl and make your own spoon. Beating. Yeah. Who wants this? Any takers? They're all too shy. <laughs> Here's your own spoon. The little doggies like it too. <laughs> I think he's gonna eat them all. And then the goats are enjoying the leaves from the coconuts. So many, many uses from the coconut tree.
Peluto is preparing the chicken. Ludo's cow. Nice looking cow over there. So this cow behind us was a gift to Baludoy in the past from subscribers. So thank you for that. Every time Ivan falls, he never gets hurt. He, he just gets up and laughs. <laughs> I'll, I'll play a game. Oh. We'll start close like this. Oh. I'll throw it to you. And I'll step one step back. Wow. Nice. Good. What's a cool that game? Oh. <laughs> There's no name. I don't know. Uh -huh. Catch. Not. Oh. <laughs> Hold that ball game. Ball game. Two two ball. <laughs> two ball game. <laughs> Bro, two ball. Two ball. Two ball game. If you're from Philippines, what does two ball mean? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Raymond is explaining something kind of interesting. There's a male and female a papaya tree. And what's the difference? The male papaya produce only flowers. Only flowers. And the female papaya produce papayas. Look. So there's little baby ones there that will eventually be a papaya that you can eat. Yeah. But, but only female trees. Only female. So the male yeah. won't produce any papayas. Like right, human. Only female. Only female. Okay. They're pretty much identical. This is the leaf from the female mm -hmm. that produces. And this is the leaf from the male that doesn't produce. They're exactly the same. So that's something interesting. If you're at home and you're trying to grow papayas mm -hmm. and you're like, why isn't my tree producing any papayas? Yeah. It's probably because it's a male. What's up? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Michael is repositioning the cow. All left guys while Baludo is inside the CR. Look, we have new tip cook for today. <laughs> new heart from Michigan, you say. What you cook in there? It's a uh, manuk. Ah manuk. Oh, Baludo is here. 
Yo, nakay bagong kwanto hard nga tingluto cho. <laughs> Since you are cooking chicken, you can sing manok na pula. How do you sing that? What's the words? Tuloy ko. <laughs> oh, Kinan, teach you. Alright. We'll sing together. Ang manok na pula. You know the words? Isel, you know the words? Ah. Oh, R. Well, okay, sing together, Sisel. Okay, one, two, three, go. Napadaan sa sabungan ang manok na pula. <laughs> hey, another song. Ah, uh, sa may mo na katunong ng action. Oh. So underneath is the chicken, and then bullet oil just add the pan set. Ravi made his own bowl. <laughs> For the soap, bro. That is unique. <laughs> so you can put your mouth here. That is perfect. <laughs> Dude, that's cool. <laughs> I think the dog ate it. <laughs> Happy eating. Happy eating. Delicious Welcome meal. Back house. Yes, it's good to be back here. We had a lot of good memories here. We had the school classes here mm -hmm. for school. Um, we did the corn here. And this is one of the first housing projects that we did. Yeah. And there's the CR connected to the house. So very, very good memories here. Very good memories. Very good food here. Yeah. I'm busy eating. <laughs> it's time to eat for the puppies too. Alright guys, so we just finished our meal. And you can see behind me, this uh, Baluto is making this for his mother-in-law. And I'll just walk around to show you the finished product. Down below, they keep like firewood and other different things. It's very nice. They have a little flower garden here. It goes all the way around. We'll walk inside. I like these. An eggshell. Very cool in here. Yeah, it's very nice in here. That when you sleep, you don't need electric fan or anything. Yeah. Continue eating. <laughs> but Richie's right though, the air comes from the bottom and from the top. So it stays nice and cool. As soon as you walk in here, you can just feel that it's cool in here. It's very nice. Good job, Baludor. Just from the, I remember from the corn. Oh, it's the corn. Yeah, brilliant idea. That's a good idea. There's a little cooking area. Then in here, she's making lumboy, right? Oh, All right. Oh, she sells that. Oh, she yeah. sells it. Okay. Order. Someone orders. Someone here, orders and she'll make basketball it. Basketball in our area. Okay. Yeah, they will order and sell it. Nice. All right. So she has her own little business. All right. So we're just gonna end the video here. Uh, we're gonna go home soon after this. And there's one more thing that we're giving to Baluto, eh? Ah, uh, it's a little, it's a <laughs> bottle opener. Bottle opener. Right? Yeah. We call that here, bro, Abrador. Abrador. Uh, Abrador. Okay. Uh, so good name. Abrador. Here's an Abrador for you. Uh, in remembrance. Yeah.
Probably sa konti, kanang ano If you open, if you drink tuba, you can open it. Oh, beer, soft drinks, mm. tuba, tuba from a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you guys very much. Today was a very fun day. It was nice to uh, see Baluto and the whole family again. Mm -hmm. And thanks to Shalmay's gift. That was very kind of you. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, up here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so God bless. And thank you. Yeah, thank you guys very much. And we'll probably just see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. All right, bye bye, guys.